What's up guys, Xbell Games here, and yes, this is Kill Confirmed on Detroit, Advanced Warfare, Call of Duty, obviously, if you can't figure it out by the little thing in the bottom right corner, the uh, logo, then oh well, but this is going to be the first of my two part video thing, I don't, I don't, I don't know what to call it, but it's going to be the first part of of a video of my rants and raves so far for Call of Duty Advanced Warfare. So, well, I'm gonna point out first of all that in this video it shows me getting into a glitch on this map. And if you wanna know how to do it, just follow what I do. It's, it's not that hard to do. But first things first, I would like to discuss the leaderboards in Call of Duty. So, it's really annoying that I worked so hard to get up so close to first place on Kill Confirmed on those leaderboards and ended up where I'm at currently is around 16th on the Kill Confirmed leaderboards. PlayStation Network if you want to know. My gamer tags in the left side of the video if you want to add me but I ended up around 15th place currently when I should be first so technically I would be global rank number one because I prestiged now I prestiged simply because hey it's a new game and if I can prestige in a day well, why not prestige right so I prestiged I figured, hey, I'm going to go ahead and prestige, and I'll rank up and get to the top of the leaderboards at the same time. Well, that's not exactly how it worked out. In every other game, your, your, score, your score would carry over into the next prestige. So, I, I at the time of prestiging, prestiging, Prestiging had 177,000 score in, and this is this is the uh, thing, by the way, the glitch. I had 177,000 score in kill confirmed at the time of prestiging, and I prestiged. And the next game, I noticed, hey, it's not it's not showing up. So I keep playing and I keep playing, and then I I noticed something about 10 games later that it's not. Like, no one else in the leaderboard is prestiged. Not a single person on the leaderboards are prestiged, except for in the career category. The only category where it shows is the career category. And I guess that's simply because it's your career. It's your whole way through. But, even if it was that, you'd figure after you prestiged, it would show the score for that prestige in that category. No, it doesn't do that either. It just completely drops it right there and you stay wherever you're at, you don't gain any more score on that, and it's really upsetting. But that's just me because I was I was trying pretty hard to get first place in the well I mean other than the guy that hacked named N G U Ed or something like that. He's got first place. But I was hoping to gain first place and it didn't happen because I prestiged. Now on the topic of prestiging I'd like to speak about literally what happens when you prestige. First obviously you're gonna get something for it. You get one free unlock and on top of that you get a whole set of uh, armor. Basically a whole set of armor. So when you prestige, it says something along the lines of, hey, yada, 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 these things are going to reset and these things aren't. Well, the things that aren't included camo, weapon unlocks, including attachments, and challenges, player cards, and emblem slots or whatever. Well, emblem slots, player cards, they didn't reset, but your challenges, your camos, and your attachments all reset so that 
I do not enjoy. And I th I'm hoping that at some point in time, very soon, it'll get fixed along with this right here. I fall out of the map. Looks a little funny, but oh well. So, look at this glitch needs to be fixed. And in the next patch, I'd like to see the leaderboards fixed along with the prestige. I've already got one friend that decided that he's not going to prestige simply because he do he doesn't want his leaderboard stats to be messed up and he'd like to keep his stuff the way it should be kept. So he's probably deciding to not prestige at this point. And that's a bunch of crap simply because I have decided to that. Oh well. Um, because of all that. Now something I do like about this game, very much so actually, is the exosuit. If you can learn to master this exosuit the way I have, and I've, I've spent all day working on this exosuit and learning how to use it and all this different stuff, then you will be very successful at Call of Duty. No joke, you can double jump and hit it twice in midair as long as you have the time to. But you can't do that twice in a row. So, there's one thing. And it really helps to know that because without me knowing that, I would not be doing I would not have been doing as well as I had been earlier today. Now I didn't have my HD PVR and you could not go into theater mode because this does not have a theater mode. That is something that needs to be taken care of, but oh well. I guess the PS4 saves online? everything anyway. Doesn't matter. Um, this is on PS3, so I could not record what I had. But I guess that's okay. Um, I was getting around 3,000 to 4,000 a game. And it seems like if you have if you have a good connection... But right now, I don't. So, if you're watching, it doesn't look like I have good hit detection. See, did you see that? Like, I, sh I shot him in the head, and it didn't actually hit him. Because the hit detection's off when you lag. And I don't have very good ping time right now, because... Later at night, and because my PlayStation is on Wi-Fi, it has bad ping time. Again, right there, it shows me. The hit detection is very nice on this game. It kind of reminds me of, I want to say, Modern Warfare 3 when it first came out. Yeah, Modern Warfare 3 had some pretty good hit detection. It really, I really enjoyed it when it first came out. So, there's that. Hold on just a second. All right. But, I guess the rest of it will be discussed in my next video hope you enjoyed this and i will see you all next time this is uh tag right here thanks for watching bye squad that was textbook